Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Kenji. I haven't done a lot in between the episodes, all I did is I brought the group of Nathan back to the camp and I also finished building the wall. Now I do believe we have run into a slight issue with Surgil here, I'm not so sure, let me actually see, oh no he's actually moving, oh that's interesting. Before he seemed to be stuck here on the top, but I'm glad bringing you guys back to the joint actually solved that issue. Well he just closed the door, we actually need to get through little man. What we want is we want to open up the inventory right here and Lars you can actually well we are not gonna close it right away. I don't think there are too many enemies coming at us right now. So search will open up that inventory and grab all of that shebang so flashbox can actually continue working. Then we need him to actually have a look into this chest. In the meantime Lars should have his inventory full of juicy food. Well, it's actually not too full, but there are a couple of things in here. Can I not throw that in there? Yes, I can. There we go. So a couple of guys should be coming. Yeah, look at that. Andriy Churko is already there, filling up his inventory with a little bit of food as well. All right, the next thing I want to do is, oh, I guess store these iron plates. But after that, I want to actually build a couple more training dummies. That would be great. Maybe on the top floor here. Oh, I actually already do. Oh, Nathan, that was a brilliant idea. I want Lars to actually train a little bit, and I also want Andrew to train a little bit. But Andrew does have a couple of things waiting for him right here. Let me have a look into this building, and did we put it into this chest? Yes, there we go. All the proper armor in order to be an amazing tank. Well, actually, we're missing a couple of pants, but we can rectify this issue. Andrew, you will also have to train up a little bit, so you are gonna go to the second training dummy. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Actually, Lars, what is your strength? Already 11, actually, so we're not gonna train much doing the training dummy thing. I really don't want to hold back any longer. I wish to get into trouble a little bit more frequently. All right, uh, we also got the domestic bull with actually a lot of stuff in his inventory and I also believe, yeah, Nathan also got a few things. We wanted to build a farm, if I'm not mistaken, and the farm would be outside here somewhere, let's see. We're gonna go to farming and we're gonna get the wheat farm in the joint. Oh yeah, look at that, fertility 75%, that's actually not too shabby. This feels like it's not really working. Too close to another building, what are you talking about? Ah, there we go, I just had to re-click it again and now it works. Alright, alright. Okay, it's pretty much 87% or so across the board, so I think we should be safe doing the farm somewhere along these lines. At least the wheat farms. So maybe here at the bottom of this crater-like thing, there's gonna be our first wheat farm. Beautiful, let's confirm that. And of course we need the building materials, which is wheat straw, so Nathan is already making his way over there, though I would rather make him trade with a pato if we can. No, Surgil actually, uh, trade. There we go, you need the freaking wheat straw. Surgil is already adding the materials, of course we're gonna need a little bit more, but we do have that with our domestic bull. Surgil, you need to trade with this guy, there we go, and you can grab a few more of those, yes. Oh, this is exciting. We're gonna need a guy taking care of the wheat, actually. Hmm, who could this be? We simply don't have enough people, guys. We might be forced to go on another thievery trip. But yeah, let's first see what happens here once we completed this field. Yes, there we go. Okay, beautiful. So, Surgil could be working on here. However, he doesn't have the time for such things. Yeah, one thing I think I want to change is Pato seems to be a really, really good laborer and also he is almost naked actually. Only got one of these chain shirts, but that is actually pretty good. So what if we told Pato to actually go somewhere else? Since we at the moment have enough building materials, I think we can remove him from the job at least for a while. And I want him to actually get rid of his armor there. Except the sandals, of course. The wooden sandals are always a good thing. So he's not gonna have a weapon. If should we get attacked, we should actually bring him to the inner walls. But there we go. You are now going to operate the wheat farm machine. Don't you know what to do? Oh, do we have to, like, wait until something happens here? Is it growing? 
Oh, I have to make sure the farm has water. Interesting. Okay, so we need to get the water now. And for this, I would actually like to have the better water wells that, uh, you know, function automatically. Right now, Pato will have to actually collect the water himself. But let's see that happen because I'm actually doing this for the first time. All right, <laughs> it's another progress bar. And yes, I guess then he can fill his inventory with one or two water. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Let's see what we need in order to discover the better well. Uh, show that research, baby. Thank you. And where is it? Farming? Maybe not. Maybe industry. Wells too. Oh yeah, that sounds reasonable. It's only three hours and only one freaking book. Man, I should do that. How can I not do that? I don't have a single book. Nathan, I think it's time for another book trip, right? All right, guys, I catch you once I'm done with this shebang. You know, the, the usual trip, basically. Great, I catch you once something else interesting is happening. All right, guys, so we are back and this instant, Sergil is actually building the research bench level two because that's what we need in order to do the actual research. Now, this bench is extremely large. I had to place it in this building and for some reason, I wasn't able to push it all the way to the sides, but that's all right. I would have loved to actually place this beneath the staircase, but it uh, didn't allow me to do so. Leaf is already waiting. Sertral just has to finish this. Come on, guy. You can do this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There we go. We're almost done. Wow. This is an amazing thing. Let's actually have a look inside of it. And I want to place a couple of things in here. That is indeed interesting. And also, where did Sertral go to now? Sergil? Okay, he went here. That's all right. I want you to actually dismantle this, please. And now we can finally choose a few more things. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Defensive walls. I'm so tempted, man. So tempted. Ooh, we could craft basic first aid kits. That would also be useful. Assassin training. <gasps> I need that. How much? Oh, no. I didn't mean to use it. Well, that's all right. We still have enough books. What I meant to do is choose the well. There we go. Good, so by the time it is morning, we should actually have researched all of that stuff. And we still have a couple of books left, so what else should we do? Storage boxes for ores, crafting. Ooh, the powered stone refinery, that's something we wanted to do. Requires three books, that's not too much. And how can I choose that? An iron refinery, I guess that's the same thing here. So all of these buildings would work automatically and we had some spare hands left, but they also do require power. So the question is, what do we want to start with? I'm going to go with the improved iron refinery, I think. Requires only two books, yeah, and five hours to research. Also, these storages look attractive to me because then we can, you know, sort our inventory a little bit better. But I think I'm gonna go for the ore storages first. And afterwards, the boxes. Why the heck not? They actually did not require any books. They just required a little bit of time. That's interesting. Now, before we go for the stone refinery, I can see there's, for instance, the desert cooking. We could make chew sticks and dust witch. We could do some basic weapon smithing for an iron club, staff or rusted junk. <sighs> not necessarily. Ooh, beds. Ugh, that's actually something we should do. We should add beds so we can also build more buildings and make a, a bedroom. Even though they do not really need to sleep. Corpse disposal. Incineration would be the most effective solution. That's cool. Biofuel. Wow, there's so much stuff here. Oh, let's go with a light post. Yeah. That's something I want to invest the book in. And maybe the basic exterior lighting. There we go. We got our research in the joint. And it is uh, getting morning. That's fine. Where is actually Leaf? Leaf is all the way over there researching the stuff. I don't understand. Why isn't she doing it here? Or maybe we just needed to have this building. I see. Anyways, it doesn't matter to me. You guys should be, you know, training. What are you doing, Lars and Andri? Sergil took apart this thingy majingy. We got some more iron plates. There we go. And you're also going to take apart this guy. And I guess now it's just a, a matter of waiting again until we have researched the correct stuff. Is there a way to get into the research? Maybe technology? Yeah, okay. I should have used this button there. Anyways, we have almost researched the assassin training, which uh, gives us an assassin dummy. And this is exactly what I need, man. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Assassin training. Ah, I love it. We're gonna place that right there. 
confirm and Searchle can actually take care of that. Searchle, we do have the building materials. You're complaining for nothing, just once again. What do we actually need? Oh, we need leather! Okay, that is something we don't have. Curious, curious, curious. I should buy uh, potentially some leather. Or we just need to come across a, a couple of dogs, actually. Dogs should be somewhere around here, if you ask me. Maybe we are lucky? Yeah. <sighs> I don't think so. I really seldomly see anyone at all in these regions. So maybe I cannot promise you a fight today, but I can promise you one for the, the next episode actually. And why is that you might ask? I'm at the moment saving up money for more companions. That means the next time we should be getting more people and then with a small group of maybe five to six people, we're gonna roam around a little bit and take out a couple of bandits. There are actually a few good Spots. Actually, nearby stack, I believe. No, this one here, for instance, the rebel base. Those guys will actually purchase all of our stolen goods. So what we could do is go with our warriors nearby here and take apart everyone who is uh, passing by, which is actually quite a few people. And we can also sell their stuff immediately. We could go to the hub and maybe, you know, steal a few things. Uh, the same thing for stack. We could steal a few things there. The hive village is also nearby if we need to sell a couple of things. And uh, yeah, that's what I want to do the next time. I wasn't sure. I was hoping to actually get to this point already today. But seeing the recording time at this point, I think we need to wait for one more episode at least. But there we go. Sue has a more or less full inventory of iron. I want her to actually go over there and sell it. It would be cool if there was like a job, a trader job, that automatically goes to the next vendor and tries to sell a few things. But there we go. We got 1,900 cats already. I just need, you know, a thousand more in order to get another person. We don't need the people that need 6,000. We can train our guys up ourselves. That's fine. Oh, Loaf is actually hungry. Don't we have... We should have some food in here. But maybe we're all out again. I wouldn't be surprised too much. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay, we don't have any food at all. That means Loaf can actually this time do the traveling. But that means we have to spend more money again on food, which is not something I like to do. I think what we could do is uh, maybe trade a little bit of copper. So we're not gonna send Loaf, but we're gonna send Nathan, because Nathan, you know, is just used to doing all of that stuff. Oh, actually, you know, I had a better idea. We're just gonna eat from Nathan's inventory. I see, Loaf isn't in the same group as Nathan. She is. Why isn't she taking from his inventory? I don't understand. Nathan, you bring that shebang right there, and then Loaf is gonna come, and Leaf as well, actually. Yeah, you guys deserved one of those things, I guess. Great, all right. That's fine with me. However, I still think I'm going to actually sell a couple of these copper ores. Maybe not too much, because we already discovered the wells, and I want Nathan to be, you know, fast enough. Hmm, he's actually still really fast. His athletic skills is like off the charts. So I'm just gonna grab all the copper ore and the iron ore that I want to sell. This is gonna give us a good amount of money. And there we go, he's still not too slow. Nathan, you are gonna make your way over there. You know where to go. In the meantime, as I said, we have discovered the well, so we should be able to go, I guess, to farming and... Oh yeah, there we go, well 2. Ah, we can switch from well 1 to well 2, that's amazing. Let's see, how much water do we get nearby the farm? Probably not too much. Oh, look at the farm, it's actually coming along. That's nice, that's nice. However, we probably get, yeah, we get something better right here. 60% versus 48%. What do you think? Is this worth it to have it, you know, so far away from the fields? Ah, actually, we can have it also here. It's also 60% right there. That's great. Let's do this. Look at that. There's actually a fine line between 60 and 43%. I need to be careful to place it correctly. There we go. Cool. Let's confirm that. And now we also have a automatic well, which hopefully is getting powered by the windmills. You never know. Okay, so what else do we actually have to accomplish? Does this have enough stuff? It's 33% grown. Crop yield, max efficiency. Hmm. The well should be coming along. There we go. Adding materials. Yeah, you can count on Searchle, definitely. In the meantime, Nathan, we're gonna make our way up here. Ah, I wish there was a way for me to actually click here. Just walk over there, Nathan. Now, apart from the well, what else did we discover? I think we had, like, something automatic here. Tech? No, 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 that's not it. Mining. Yes. 
Stone mine two. Ah, okay. The stone mine is actually the automatic one. That might be worth it too. What do you think? 98% stone here. Oh man, we have to do this. We have to confirm this, but maybe we find another thing that we want to place. Oh, a bread oven, cooking stove and grain silo. <gasps> we might need the grain silo, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, let's place that right next to the farm. We're doing good, guys. I'm gonna turn this around and we're gonna have it like so. We're gonna wait with the bread and uh, cooking stove because I don't know how that stuff works yet. We might want a water tank. Can we store a, a little bit of water in here? You know, I have no idea. <laughs> but it sounds to me as though that would be a possibility. So we're gonna have the water tank here as well. Let's confirm all of that. And we theoretically should have the building materials for all of that, for everything. Sergio just needs to grab from the correct inventory. Yeah, we still have 17 building materials here. And look at that, it's just insane. I've been busy busy. So yeah, let me actually quickly accomplish all of that. Pato is actually still going for the water here. Oh, look at that. We almost have 10. I'm gonna give him two of the barrels. Apparently he didn't take it himself. You also need to add a job to haul from one inventory to the other. And that's why we are at the moment researching the boxes here. The crafting boxes and the ore boxes. So that's gonna be extremely useful once we can place more inventories. Then I can make people bring the stuff automatically from one inventory to the other. And I don't have to do this manually anymore. So this is cool. I just love the, the way you can automate stuff here. Yeah, we just need one more building material for this shebang and we should be good. Nathan, where are you? You're still walking. That's good. That's a good sign. Yeah, I like that. We're gonna have a look at the miners too. They are both hungry to the point where they will actually suffer a little bit. Not doing as good of a job. So we will have to take care of that the next time we make a trip. But I promise, guys, the next time we can do it. I mean, look at this inventory. This is going to give us a lot of money. I'm not selling it at the right place. I don't think they give me the maximum amounts that I could get. But it should be enough to, you know, purchase one or maybe even two people the next time and go to battle with Nathan Loaf, Andriy Shchurko, Lars and whoever else is going to join us. That's going to be great. We're going to make our way towards stack. I don't know yet. Yeah, just in this general direction. I want to test out this area here. If we can come across a couple of weaker guys, that would be great. But yeah, let me make some more progress. I'm going to be right back in order to wrap up this episode. And back we are, guys. Back we are. I have built almost everything, I believe. So, so we can actually dismantle a couple of things. Is there still something in there? Yeah, a little bit of stone. The stone mine is actually not automatic. The stone mine too. It is just, you know, quicker. That means Kaishaku will still have to operate both things. The, the manual stone processor and the stone mine too. Now, I've been thinking about this entire thing a little bit and I feel like I do have just too much space at the moment with the setup I have. I'm not so sure if we want to keep our stuff outside. Also, we might be able to, you know, find a better spot eventually and we might regret investing too much into this village. On the other hand, we've come so far already with this village that I do not want to cancel it. No, sir. So I think all we have to do is... Uh, Sergio, you take these building materials, please. Oh, no. Cannot pick that up. Can we arrange it better? There we go. We did it. We did it! Sergio, you need to bring back the building materials. What I would like to achieve is actually arrange my storages more properly. So if we have a look into the building menu, we could go with a storm house or we could actually research something that is better. Let's see, is there like the, the building industry? I want to have like a, a big house. Oh, we might want to go for tech level 3. A bigger, better research desk would allow us to research even better things, yeah. So that's 10 books, should be easy. Yeah, I will think about that for a little bit, but if we have a look into the building menu, there are so many storages now and you can actually automate everything, you know? You just need to have the right storage, so we could store the wheat straw and process it automatically. Actually, I've seen something here. If we have a look at this shebang, there is an input in the grain silo for wheat straw and out comes straw flour, which I presume you can use to cook bread or so, or bake bread. Also, the water storage obviously is capable of storing water. What Pato just did is filling up the wheat farm with more water. And 
I told him to actually go to this automatic well, which is sucking 5 power at the moment. And it's been working so far flawlessly, which is great. Good, yeah, I think things are working out. Uh, Searchill will still have to empty this inventory, get out all the building materials, and the farm right here is 74% grown, so Pato will be able to harvest that very soon, and after that we need to think about more stuff. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do in between the episodes. I'm gonna think about rearranging a few things, getting more storages in the joint, and then I will be back with the next episode. One more thing I'm gonna do at the very beginning of the next episode is actually purchase a guy. You might have realized that I did get a little bit off cats. We have enough in order to purchase a 3000 cats guy and this guy is gonna be it. So at the beginning of the next episode I'm going to rename him to one of you guys in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye bye.